Ko Tai An from Center for Liberal Arts and Social Sciences, NTU. Um, yes, I'd like to ask you a question with reference to your comment about change and the, agil and the necessary agility to meet the challenges of change, including accelerated change. And then you mentioned about um, shaping the future and hopefully that few mistakes have been made. Um, I was there when you were, became the first um, Vice Chancellor of NUS and Minister of Education. I moved to NIE and I'm now with NTU, been there for 16 years and therefore have seen quite closely uh, your influence on uh, um, higher education because when you step down as Minister of Education, you retain the portfolio of being responsible for higher education. I'd like to ask you this question. Given these challenges of meeting change, and I might add, the law of inadvertent consequences, looking back over these many years, and you're in the most fortunate position to be able to answer such a question, has there been any wrong turn that has been made, you know, um, that you feel something could have been learned from and you learned from, um, and what that might be, and whether some decision that you have made which has also been the right one and for which to today you feel you know has been had a great influence on higher education thank you it's a large general question and perhaps you might want to talk about specifics well uh, i can say as a general principle that uh, we have made mistakes everybody makes mistakes if you don't make mistakes you do not progress but I would also say, as a general principle, it's always better to look ahead to see what needs to be done and what are the problems to be solved. I uh, don't see really a great deal of benefit in looking back to see what might have happened in hypothetical cases. We have to look back to see uh, you know, areas which we can improve, and I'm sure there will be many of them. But uh, my, uh, my approach uh, has always been to uh, study the past but look to the future because uh, that is where, uh, that, is what will, that is what will benefit us. It's not that you completely forget about what you have done or you don't study uh, your decisions, but uh, it's more beneficial, I think, to look ahead and to uh, see what are the new issues you come up, the new challenges, rather than to perhaps spend a lot of time discussing what might have happened, what I did right, what I did wrong. Although, of course, one has to have a sense of history. Because as uh, somebody once said, I mean, uh, those uh, who neglect uh, history are doomed to repeating it again. And I think that's a very sensible move. 